Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to bring you guys four stocks that you should keep your eye on today that is pulling back inside of the stock market. Because remember, in order to be successful inside the stock market, you have to buy low and sell high. You don't only buy stocks when they're high, and then when they start to pull back and say, oh man, this stock is going to hell, we're just going to sell. That's not how you be successful inside of the stock market. You have to always buy low and sell high. Now, there's a couple strategies in doing this, and I've been telling you guys a while about the strategy that I use called dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is when you buy shares of a certain company every single day, week, um, once a month, every quarter, no matter what the price is of that company, if the company is high, if the company price is low, you're gonna buy shares of that company every single period over a long period of time that's called dollar cost averaging so no matter if the price is high or low you're averaging out your price of that company and usually in the long run you end up winning over a long period of time but the four companies i'm bringing you today inside of this video are companies that are having a slight pullback or a major pullback that nothing fundamentally about these companies have changed at all and those are the kind of pullbacks that we live. We don't, we don't like pullbacks where CEO leaves companies and they think the company is going to go to hell or the company has completely changed the fundamentals of that company and the market is scared of that. Those are companies that, hey, this stock is going to go down and continue to go down. So we're going to sell. I don't care if I take it for a slight loss. We're going to sell and get rid of the stock. But companies that nothing fundamentally has changed about those companies at all, but the market is having a pullback or let's say some bad news came out about that company. Bad news, we love bad news because companies get over bad news in just a single quarter. So when bad news come out, we come out and buy the dip and then we wait for that company to recover. But all four of these companies I'm bringing you today, they don't really have any bad news at all. Nothing fundamentally has changed about these companies at all, where they are just on sale. And this is the kind of good sale that we're looking for in order to be successful in the stock market. Because remember, write this down guys, buy low, sell high. If you are willing to buy a company at its all time high because you believe in that company, why not buy that company when it's on sale, when the market is pulling back? If nothing about that company has fundamentally changed at all, right? So that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to bring you the top four stocks that you can keep your eye on in this upcoming week. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. Deposit any amount of money. You could deposit just one dollar if you want to, and you can receive two free stocks valued up to twenty three hundred dollars. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you can sell your two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, they're running a special promotion. If you use the link in the description and trade any amount of cryptocurrency, you'll receive five free dollars worth of ship. We all know ship could shoot to the moon at any minute and that $5 could turn to $25. So go ahead, take full advantage of this free money, guys. Once again, by clicking the link down in the description and sign up for Weeble. But enough talking, guys. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on the first stock, which is Squarespace. Now Squarespace over the last week, month and three months has been pulling back around 32.93%. And even over the last year, they're still down 12.19%. But over the last five years, you guys can see the big run up. Square got a little bit overpriced in this 32% pullback might be the pullback that we've been looking for in order to get inside this company. In fact, some great news did just come out for Squarespace, even though it's up over the last five years, 1,274%. It's still very pricey for me, but, I'm, but I might go ahead and get in this week off the good news I just received. So if you guys are looking for a great company, a great stock to get into, um, Squarespace might be one that you put on your watch list in order to keep an eye on. In fact, let's just do a quick technical analysis over Squarespace and I'm, and I'm gonna show you guys the, the great news. If we scroll down just a little bit and sh hit show more, you guys can see that the CEO of Squarespace is Jack Dorsey. And as you guys know, Jack Dorsey is also the creator and the CEO of one of the biggest, well, the biggest social media platform that is on earth, which is Twitter. So he made Twitter 
He made Squarespace. If he could be successful with another company like Twitter, I think that he could be successful with um, his, his other company, Squarespace. In fact, let me go ahead and tell you guys the news so you can be updated. All right, Dreamers, here we are over on the New York Times. Jack Dorsey, he is the CEO of Twitter and the CEO of Squarespace, but he just announced that he's leaving Twitter as the CEO after just 15 years. He's 37 years old. After, after 15 years of being the CEO of Twitter, he's now devoting all his time into Squarespace. So that is a, a great catalyst of news after this company been pulling back 32 percent over the last three months um just last week he announced that he's going to um leave as being the ceo of twitter he's going to be devoting all his time over to squarespace so let's just do a quick technical analysis on squarespace we'll just do this one um uh, if we scroll over let's make this is um squarespace on the four hour chart and as you guys can see after as it broke below the 200 uh, exponential moving average it's been pulling back if we look at the last couple of earnings report it pulled back before every earnings report had a good earnings report shot up pulled back had a good earnings report shot up good earnings report shot up and then it had its first bad earnings report um, just a couple of weeks ago and it's been pulling back ever since and this is the pullback we we have been looking for in fact let's pull out the fibonacci sequence as you guys know i love to buy inside of the golden zone and bam right here um squarespace has just reached inside of the golden zone if i want to be safe i'll wait until the macd finally crosses over and then i'll enter into the market but i would dollar cost average once again if i wanted to i'll go in i'll buy one share of squarespace if it pull back some more i'll buy two shares of squarespace if it pull back even more i'll buy three shares of squarespace that's me dollar cost averaging in why this company is pulling back it is an amazing company nothing fundamentally has changed about this company it's just having a pullback from a bad earnings report and we're going to take a full advantage of that opportunity because remember you want to buy low and sell high quit buying high and selling low so we're just going to do the one technical analysis over this one i'll give you guys the other three companies but but if you want technical analysis like this and when i buy and sell different companies then click the link down in the comment section that'll take you to my patreon over there on the patreon that'll take you to the discord inside the discord um i post every time i buy and sell different stocks we post option strategies and cryptocurrency strategies so in technical analysis just like this so if you want the opportunity to come in and be a part of a great community of traders go ahead and click that link down in the comment section it's just 12 dollars a month that's around 40 cents a day and uh last week we we've, we've made that back um four five six times over so if you guys want to be a part of that community click that link down in the comment section but let's go ahead and dive into the other three stocks that has been pulling back that nothing fundamentally has changed about these companies here we are on the second company zoom over the last year it's been pulling back over 52 percent as you guys know it had a big run up after the pandemic but uh, if you've been paying attention to zoom they've been trying to get inside of the metaverse by partnering with oculus I could list to where you could attend zoom meetings in the metaverse so zoom is another metaverse type stock that has been pulling back over the last year or so after the big pandemic run up right now is nearing a support zone um i did a technical analysis that i posted over in the discord if you guys want to go check that out people that's already a part of that community i posted one of zoom last week it's is not quite time to buy but it's coming up very very soon we're going to keep a good eye on zoom and put that onto our watch list the next company that's been pulling back that's been doing very very good is amd so amd over the last three months has been up 30 percent in fact over the last year it's up 55 percent but we had its first week of a decent pullback of 8.92 percent this is the first week it had a pullback over the last three months is this the opportunity again on amd i love amd guys i have 100 shares of amd i'm up 141 percent now facebook has announced well metaverse ha meta has announced that they've been partnering with amd to use that epic um, gpus which is pretty much is going to power and run all of meta aka facebook all of their online service and everything that it has to do with the metaverse they're going to partner with amd to use that epic um gpu type service and so amd finally had a decent pullback this is going to be a very big company in the near future so this is one that you definitely need to add to your watch list and the last one i'm going to bring you guys is corsair now corsair gaming as you guys know over the last year they had the big um ipo run up all the way up to 40 five dollars and it's finally having to pull back corsair they make um pretty much 
anything for home building computers. If, of course, there you could buy their power supplies, um, DRAM, cooling fans, and that, and, and also pre-built computers. With the world, with the way that the world's changing, with, with a lot of people still working from home, and a lot of kids still is attending school online, and a lot of people that's really getting inside of the metaverse that they're gonna have to build their own computers in order to enter the metaverse. Corsair is gonna be very big in the future. They had the big run up from uh, its first release back in October 2020, and it's been pulling back ever since. It's down 41% over the last year, and $20 would be a uh, an awesome price point. If Corsair could pull back to $20, I'm going to go in big on Corsair. Right now it's at 2107. So keep an eye on this. Put this one on your watch list because it's a pretty good company that I actually use. And if you're thinking about the future, if you're thinking about the metaverse, this is going to be a company that you want to have inside of your portfolio. But once again, this is not financial advice. This is for pure entertainment uh, purposes only. Please do your own research. And there you go, guys. Those are the top four stocks. If you want technical analysis over the stocks that I just talked about, we did one. I'm going to post the other three over in the Discord. If you want access to that, that's going to be down in the comment section to take you over to my Patreon. Let me know down in the comment section what stocks do you guys have your eyes on this week that has been pulling back in the market that we could get on a good sale. Not a bad sale, not a company that's doing horrible, but a great company that's having a pullback that we could get in at an amazing price. Drop that down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to pick up your two free stocks of Weeble. Go down there, collect your free money, guys, by clicking the link down in the description. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.